nice tear match right here. I saw the, um, as you just saw, I played around a little bit with my um, Synetics Sinuskates here. Um, just arrived yesterday. Um, this was a Kickstarter project that got funded and they just shipped, uh, just started shipping, sorry, uh, a few weeks ago. And um, yeah, I finally got mine. I was really looking forward to this. Because, um, you know, it's fun to do this, uh, to work with sliders when you're shooting a video and you can do so much nice stuff with it. But a proper slider is like is really expensive and the cheaper ones I at least tried two so far. Um, one, unfortunately, I own, the other one uh, I didn't pay for or anything. But they don't really work so well, and uh, that was all you kind of mind. So I was really looking forward to test these. As you can see from the test video, uh, you just saw there is room for improvement in my skills, most probably. Um, and also, the uh, surface has to be really, really flat and clean. Um, so you don't get any shaking. Um, also, I think what you saw with the uh, the part with the Iron Man um, figurine, um, you really have to be careful what you put up here. Um, in the beginning, for the spinning around part of the little Cthulhu um, toy, I used the Joby ball hat that I ordered with it, which was kind of a mistake. <laughs> because this really doesn't, uh, I don't know, I couldn't fix it properly or f fix the camera properly on this. Neither could I really fix my camera properly on the, uh, or let's put it the other way. This is supposed to hold up to five kilograms. I put a Nikon D7000 on here with like, I tried different lenses. And the only combination was with the 50mm, which is like my life's lens ever. And um, that was the only thing where this didn't move. With the 2470, with the 1424, this at some point always started moving and, you know, so the camera angle changed and that's really annoying. That's why I never liked the Gorilla uh, pots too much. Um, so... It would be perfect if you could somehow fit a proper or regular um, tripod on these. But let's get to the uh, skates themselves. Um, this is a great idea. Um, I mean, proper sliders are really expensive, and with this you can do a lot of things you can't do with a regular slider. I mean, if you build a dolly with tracks and everything, that obviously, yeah. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and it's really huge. This, like this, you can just you know throw it in your backpack, in your camera bag, and you always have it with you. So, um, so this is yeah something I'm looking forward to test even more. This was just a quick you know I just had the afternoon basically uh, to do a little bit of testing, um, and just the spinning around part. I, I want to try it on somewhere outside where you have a bit more space to do like a really long dolly shot or something. Something, yeah, we could try something Michael Bayish maybe. Anyways, let's get to the point. I would say this is really worth the money. Um, I'm going to test it a bit more and see how it really, yeah, how you can work with it outside. And, you know, do some stuff like, you know, do some slides along a wall, along a car, maybe the ceiling even. Because if, I can't imagine if you have a low ceiling and just stick it up there and press against it and just go with it. This could be really, really cool. So, yeah, I hope this was kind of a little small help for you guys. And um, there's definitely more coming uh, as soon as I have some more time. And, oh yeah, this is the little baggy thingy where the skates are in. Uh, that comes with it. And, yeah, don't get the ball hat, that's for sure. And um, I'll let you know if I can fit something else in here instead of the Gorilla Pod, because, as I said, D7000, which isn't the heaviest camera in the world. <sighs> yeah, this got kind of strong. Anyways, take care, thanks for watching, bye-bye.